understand that we need them and they take their job very seriously now. And I really appreciate that and respect. What's the one thing you want to look at immediately on film from this game? Um, definitely how I uh, graded out as far as, you know, on that back end, I always try for perfection. And also look at the team habit work as far as defense, uh, seeing how much PBU sacks. And, you know, not just on the black team, but in the red and black combined, the defense. I just want to see how much production that we put on the board. In your mind, what's the overall talent level this like compared to when you got here now versus then? Oh, man, I, I definitely see, like, you know, if not better, the same. You know, those guys are very talented, man. Those, those guys, when I came in here in my uh, spring, my freshman year, those guys were just like this. And now, that, you know, the rules have changed. And now I'm, I'm the Dom Sanders, you know what I'm saying, Malcolm Prayers in the room as far as these young guys. And so I just see it's, I just see these things just continue to grow on us and, and uh, springboard us to the fall. Thanks, Richard. As far as like red and the black, I think overall those guys play some great ball, man. Uh, you know, guys step up, made plays, green. Uh, Nolan Smith, uh, guys like that, who we always know had the ability to play ball, came out there and they did their thing. So I'm very proud of our defense. Richard, a year ago, Eric Stokes were playing with the second team, had a guy like DeAndre Baker. I mean, you've been behind him that whole year. How have you seen him grow, and where do you think he's at? Eric Stokes has made a uh, tremendous leap as far as uh, playing. He, this guy is very physical. He's fast, man. Something you can't coach. Uh, his ball skills is amazing, and that's something that you look forward in into a corner. Um, just seeing him as far as uh, a lot of traits, I see uh, Dre and, and Stokes. I, I can count on Dre, you know what I'm saying? I can count on Stokes, and that's how I feel as far as our whole secondary. And once I felt like that, it was an amazing uh, feeling. Where do you think you've seen him grow personally? Um, definitely as far as his confidence, man. Coming out, you know, making sure everything is, is on to him because every ball is in the air, it belongs to him also. And so I see him as, you know, a ball hawk defender just like me. I know this is not your first spring game, but right. what does it mean for the, for these fans to come out in the horrible weather on an Easter weekend to right. come see y'all play? I mean, it just showed the love and support that we got here at the University of Georgia. Um, you know, I appreciate the people taking the time and the families coming out out of their busy days. Could have been traveling to families and things like that, but just coming out here and sit through the rain, you know, in the cold, like 50 degrees out here. And so I really appreciate that. That that's something Dog Nation, you know, will always be remembered for showing love no matter what. And, and it made it feel like an actual game, you know, not as far as like a, a spring game or something like that. It was an actual game. You were out there uh, kind of waving the towel around the beginning of pregame, getting the guys pumped. Definitely. You're an upperclassman now. You yeah. Know, what, what's different? Oh, man, how, tired, you know, how fast time has, uh, you know, went on. I, I feel like I, I'm, I'm built to take that role on to this uh, secondary and also to this defense. And so these guys, you know, they rally around me when they see my energy. They see JR energy. They, they gel to us and all us play ball together like that. And so, you know, when it's time for the fall, when we coming together as one, all our guys clicking on all cylinders. Who's uh, some of the big names in the secondary that you saw improve the most over the spring? Uh, definitely Lewis. Uh, Lewis and Tyree Stevenson, uh, you know, those guys step up. Will Poole, uh, Deval Wilson, those guys definitely gave everything that they did. You know, coming out of high school, most of them never played the star position, never played corner, coming in and adapting to a new style of football and, and listening to Coach uh, Smart and getting all, all the direction. That's something I really appreciate from those guys. What do you think that those younger players can bring to the team this year, even if they're not necessarily you know, out there starting? Definitely depth. You know, those guys definitely, they, they know what they're doing now uh, as far as spring pass. So those guys know, you know, that they can come on the, on the field and definitely immediately cause an impact onto the game. And so I don't think those guys are scared. I think they're ready to play. New uh, defensive back coach, Coach right. Warren, uh, what's the difference? Um, you know, Coach Warren is a great guy. You know, uh, every time he come in, he come in with the same, you know, type of demeanor and getting after it. And uh, that's something that you appreciate as a player because, you know, your coach will come to give his all every time, you know, just like Coach Tucker. And so, you know, nothing changed, you know, just coming there, playing ball, getting lined up and doing our thing. Now, talk about your relationship with JR. How do you feel like you guys have developed now that you got a bunch of games? Definitely like uh, Batman and Superman back there on that back end, you know. Uh, we just try to. Keep everything in front of us. Keep everything the younger guys uh, involved and informed about all the plays and things like that. So we just we just work together all the time to keep everything on that back end loaded. So we saw Nakobe and Nolan both right. start with you guys on the first team. Right. Um, tell me about those guys. Oh, those guys are special, man. Coming in, uh, Nolan definitely always knew he had it in him. Uh, first time seeing Nakobe this spring, that guy came out there and he played ball, man. He reminds me so much. Uh, you know, uh, uh, rope on and, and the way he moves and pick up the concept very quickly. So I really appreciate those two guys coming in and, uh, you know, taking their job very seriously. Coach Smart, has you worked?